you know, I think geoscience has an incredible and growing role. There's a geologist somewhere in just about everything that we do. The single largest challenge that's out there that we know of for society for the next 30 years is how do we grow a prosperous world while taking care of the world at the same time. And it's, it touches everything from... How do we make the world safer? You know, impact the, studies, earthquake studies. The climate, the environment, to land use. How do we access fresh water? It's going to become massive. How do we access fresh water? Guess what? As geologists, we know where the water is. How we view resources and the need for resources and how our ability to extract them. To... You know, how do you design something to withstand climate change? Because there's, there's so many things yeah. that we can solve with geology. So I think that the, uh, the solutions that geoscience needs to contribute to is the energy transition. How do we provide better access to energy? How do we use what we have now in a more sustainable way? These are all questions that geoscientists are going to answer. No one really knows how to get there. I mean, um, and we need help. And so there's a huge invitation for folks to help us figure out how to um, accelerate this, this energy transition be it from the oil and gas side, actually being able to close down fields, etc., in a responsible manner, through to critical minerals, uh, geothermal, carbon capture use and storage, to on the mining side, extracting all of those minerals and metals that are absolutely fundamental for renewable power sources, be it rare earth elements, lithium, etc., cobalt. Renewable energy it's interesting, the sun and the wind are renewable, heat and light and motion, but the stuff to extract, extract that energy isn't. So wind turbines and solar panels and, and batteries aren't renewable. There's nothing renewable about them. We mine them, we manufacture them, they wear out, we dispose them in landfills or recycle and we do it again. So that is so critical for people to begin to understand. People really, really high up in decision-making systems sort of say, wow, you know, no one talks about mining anymore, surely, you know, now, you know, we're just going to recycle. The circular economy simply cannot achieve those things. You can't replace the electricity system of a planet by recycling the wires that are already in the ground. It's not going to happen. And so there's this enormous misconception that, that you know, recycling is good, mining is bad. Any future that has less carbon in it has got a whole lot more mining in it. An EV has got four times the amount of copper in it than a conventional IC, ICE-driven motor. So things like copper will be critical, things like lithium, cobalt, nickel, etc. What we look like to the public is something from 50 or you know 50 years ago. We, we look like we're, yeah. we're out there to um, rape and pillage the planet. How does geoscience play into the reinvention of mining so that it is a net positive activity on every dimension you can think of, socially, environmentally, from an energy point of view, from a political point of view, from an, from an economic point of view. It's not about a good job for 30 years working for a company. It's about doing something that is transformational for the world. I think earth science has to be increasingly people-centric. Like geosciences is really important if you want to play a key role in, you know, the betterment of others. As a geoscientist, you really can change the world because it's you that is making the decision with regards to how responsibly you you do your trade, as it were. Also, you are appealing to something which I think is rising up more maybe in the younger generation is that social awareness strand. And that's the kind of connection I think that geoscience is, there's a natural connection to what geoscientists do. Um, and how they will help enable the world that's in front of us in a way that's totally different from the way it was done over the last 30 years, because it will be, it's a bigger problem. Geoscientists are earth scientists. We understand earth processes. We can address humanity's challenges and be excited about new discoveries. You can make the world a better place. The big challenges that we face, those are humanity's problems. And if, if there's any science that really is, is kind of, I think, could have an impact globally, that it's, it's geology. You know, it, it gives you that context of, of your, you know, humanity's place in the universe, but you kind of understand also that the Earth is unique in many ways for our, 
for our species and we better take care of it. Mm -hmm.